Hey everyone, so I was shopping in Target and I saw something I've not seen ever in the United States. And that is uh, Red Bull Cola. Now, the only time I ever saw this was in a grocery store in Berlin, Germany, uh, in the two days that I spent in Berlin when I went to Europe a couple years ago. And I thought it was a really delicious cola. And um, apparently, among all of the ingredients that are in here, which includes not just carbonated water and regular sugar as opposed to corn syrup. It also has coffee beans, lemon, ginger, lime, vanilla, licorice, cinnamon, cola nut, coca, orange, cardamom, whatever that is, mint, pine, mace, and clove. Uh, so there's no phosphoric acid, which means finally a cola that is not clear that won't give me kidney stones. But there's also no citric acid, there's just lemon juice in this. So it's really weird. So I'm wondering if this is going to taste, because this seems rather familiar, because the, the Red Bull Cola I had in Germany still had English ingredients in it, though even though I don't remember specifically, this is like three, four years ago now. But I wonder if this will taste just as delicious as the one I had in Germany, or if it's a different formula for the Americas. Smells like regular cola. Actually, it kind of smells like gummy cola, which I also like. The syrup doesn't taste as thick as the German one, which tasted about as thick as Coca-Cola. This one tastes about as thin as a Crystal Pepsi. But because it has sugar, it doesn't have the bad aftertaste or the disappointing after effect of the Coca-Cola Clear I had tried. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is actually really good. I wish I'd, I wish, one, that it didn't come in cans that were fucking 8.4 fluid ounces. That's not enough to hydrate fucking anyone, except for kids who shouldn't be drinking Red Bull. Even though this doesn't even have any caffeine or anything in it, so... Probably why it's organics by Red Bull and not Red Bull proper. Um, so if you could put this in a normal adult size um, fluid ounce can, this would be awesome. Uh, otherwise, this is actually really good. They also had a ginger ale one, I guess I'll try that next time. And I'll also probably... Well, if, if it weren't two plus dollars for only 8.4 fluid ounces... Sorry, anything less than 32 fluid ounces ain't gonna cut it. But otherwise, this is really good, so... Yeah, if, um... I think they've had it in the U.S. before as well, but if you never had it the first time it was in the U.S. and you never had it overseas for whatever reason, you can definitely, uh, pick this up now, because apparently it's in the U.S. Alright, so I mentioned in the last video, which will be edited together with this video, uh, Red Bull also has a ginger ale. Ooh, uh... They also had a, a bitter lemonade, but bitter, uh, the word bitter threw me off there, because I don't really want to have a bitter lemonade. It's like those little, like, un bitters that I learned were drinks, uh, and they serve in Italy back when I took three years of Italian. You know, I can remember to say is un panino al prosciutto. So anyway, the, uh, ingredients in this, uh, ginger ale here are carbonated water, sugar, lemon juice concentrate, natural flavors from plant extracts, which include ginger, bergamot, and lemon, and then natural flavor caramel. I'm like, caramel? That's that's interesting. So, we're gonna see how uh, Red Bull does ginger ale, since I do like how they do cola. And see what's what. Nothing very distinctive about the smell. Can't really actually smell anything, so... I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad sign. Is this gonna be as light of a ginger ale as the Red Bull is kind of light of a cola? So my initial reaction is that it's fairly good, but it doesn't have enough flavor packed into it. Um, you don't really get any bite of the ginger. Um, you don't even really get that much sweetness of the caramel. You get carbonation, you get sugar, and you get sort of an undercurrent of ginger ale. But it, it's weird that it tastes less like ginger ale than like a Canada Dry or a Schweppes or something. There's a little bit of what I'd call like a, um, 
natural flavor bite toward the end where it doesn't taste like a, a normal store-bought ginger ale. It tastes like something a little bit extra, but it's, it's brief and it's on the aftertaste. Yeah, it's pretty much... I could be drinking almost any type of generic soda, and then it has a little bit of bite of ginger ale at the end. But that's about as much as in there, so it, it's not blowing me away as much as the, uh, the Red Bull Cola did. Um, not that the American version blew me away, but the, the German one certainly did. But for something that says organic and spicy, I, uh, I was kind of expecting a little bit more. But, and considering these bottled, these little, like, tiny 8.4 fucking fluid ounce cans are, like, two plus dollars, I can't really, uh, justify you going out and just trying this for the hell of it, unless you can actually be, uh, hydrated with 8.4 fluid ounces, and because, um, these all, these organics ones, they don't have any caffeine in them, so without having the caffeine or the taurine or any of the normal energy drink stuff to give you energy, um, I kind of think these don't actually work as energy drinks either, they're just there for like a, a just sort of a weird, like, hey, let's try this new thing for the taste and maybe it's healthier or some bullshit, I'm sure it's not. But, uh, <laughs> but I like that, at least I like the taste of the cola. The ginger ale, it's good, but I could take it or leave it. I can just buy a cheaper, regular ginger ale if I want something ginger ale -y. Or ginger ale -y, that sounds like something off the Gaza Strip. Uh, or if I, uh, or I'd get one of the more, like, gourmet ginger ales from, like, Rocket Fizz or, or any of that stuff if I want something that has more of, like, a ginger kick to it. Uh, or even ginger beer if we're really looking for that. But, uh, otherwise, yeah. Uh, not as good as the cola. I could take it or leave.